Once upon a time, in a place called Every Town, there stood a big toy store. It was the day before Christmas Eve, and very, very cold. Every floor had every toy of every kind. Each floor promised every pleasure possible. Each floor, that is, except for the bottommost floor of all. There in the basement was the reject department. Nobody ever went down there, except old Smithy, the toy mender. Every year, just before Christmas, he worked late into the night to mend as many of the broken toys as he possibly could. I'm sorry, Quincy. I've done what I can for you and the others, but I'm afraid it's of no use. We have to face the truth. The store only wants the very best toys to sell to the children. And you and all my other friends here just aren't perfect. A tear, a broken arm, a bent ear, reject. I were a younger man, things could have been better perhaps, but I'm not. I'm old and, and I'm tired, and there just isn't any more time. Goodbye, my dear little people. down there. Is anybody awake? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, fellow toys. You know how I hate making noise. But it's time to get up. 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 Hey, come on, everybody. Wake up. Let's make today a happening day. A laugh every minute for tapping day. Dust off your imaginations, take them off the shelf. You can't expect the day to do it by itself. Let's make today a red letter day And nothing can top ever be better day We got a sky of sun, time we were on our way Making today a port on the map And in joyous hand clapping Come on, we're wasting time. Let's make today, today. a bell ringing day. Today. A super colossal humming in day. Today. We got a sky of sun, time we were on our way. Making today a one catches napping, zipping and zapping. Hello, Griselda. You've granted any good wishes lately? <laughs> Me? Don't be so stupid. All the magic's gone out of my life. I mean, just take a look at me. I'm overweight, over 40, overstuffed, and it shows. Oh, never mind, Griselda. Someone will want you. Oh, who wants a fat fairy? Uh, or a wonky one? Why? I asked myself, why am I so fat? She's right, Quincy. <laughs> Nobody wants any of us. I think he's forgotten where he is. This is the reject department, dearie. Reject department, remember? I mean, just take a good look round. 
look at us. A tatty teddy, an action man who's out oh. of action, a puffer who's run out of puff, <laughs> and a baby doll who's lost her mama and can't stop crying. Oh, do be quiet, Sophie. All I ask for is a bit of peace and quiet. You speak so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my aching back. Ah. Of course, I know what's doing it. I've got a touch of rust in me. <coughs> Spring. Oh, you're always talking about your spine. Point of order, point of order. Oh, what a miserable lot. Come on, everybody. Let's have a bit of fun. Fun? Oh, fun? What's that? Who is this new young upstart, then? Quincy. He only came here the other day. Oh. Yeah, it was me neck, actually. I fell off the counter and the store cat got hold of me. <laughs> Still, Smithy's fixed me up the best he could. <laughs> Look, You're right still a reject right. like the rest of us, sir. Oh, and I remember how lovely I used to be. All tarted up in me tin suit. Point of order, point of order. We're all in the same boat, Whistle. Subsoil, second hand, substandard and doomed. <laughs> Cheer up, Sophie. Love you, sob your face off. As spokesman for the Rejects Union, oh. which I would be if we had one, I'm here to remind you, brothers and sisters, that tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Yes, the day before Christmas Day. Point of order, point of order. No speaking while the spokesman's speaking, lad. What you don't know is that tomorrow is D Day. Oh, no, it's Christmas Eve. D for destruction. Destruction? Yes. Tomorrow may be the day before Christmas for others, but it's the day before nothing for us. And when the clock strikes nine tomorrow morning, they stoke up that furnace over there. And then one by one we'll all be burnt. Burnt? Burnt? For you, me, Griselda, Teddy, Papa? But why, Jack? Well, because we're not perfect. Well, what's perfect? Well, we're not the same as them upstairs, you see. They're uh, better than us. Well, you mean just because we don't fit in with what somebody upstairs thinks is perfect that they're going to chuck us on a furnace and you're not going to do nothing about it? You're going to stand around here moaning and groaning and doing nothing about it? But what can we do? Oh, no, well, Griselda, couldn't you manage half a wish? Oh, if I could, dearie, I'd wish myself back on top of a Christmas tree. I could oh, give I my ear Yes. Yikes! That's it. Christmas tree. Christmas. Father Christmas. Santa Claus. He lives on top of the store, doesn't he? In the grotto. Well, why don't we ask him to help? Yes! yes. <laughs> No. Why not? From what I hear, he's a very nice and kind gentleman. He lets little boys and girls go to the top of the store, they sit on his lap, and they whisper in his ear, and they ask for wishes, which he grants. All we have to do is we send one of us to the top of the store, into Santa's grotto, and wish for us all to be saved from that furnace. Oh, then we can be put back on sale for all the little boys and girls to love. That's all. What do you think? Well, who's going to go, may I ask? I mean, I can't get out of my box here. Griselda, you've got wings. You could fly up to Santa's grotto. Don't be daft. He'd never get off the ground. Hey, me. Me. Why not me? I'll go. Listen. Once you're out of the reject department, you're alone. Helpless. Santa's at the top of the store and we're right at the bottom. And it's the in-between you've got to worry about. And remember, you've only got till nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Because when the clock strikes nine, you turn back into being a toy again. OK, I won't forget it. When the clock strikes nine, I turn back to being a toy. Easy. Right. Now, Quincy. Now. Best behaviour. Best behaviour. Don't talk to strangers. Yes. And be careful of the robot and the witch. Be careful of the robots and the witch. Right. The witch? The witch of the storm. <laughs> Don't want to forget the witch. 
don't want to take any charges. Well, I'm gonna go. Now oh, come to the back of the scale, oh, quickly. Can I have one too? On my own person. Oh, quickly, please! Oh, 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 give me one good reason why I should. Quincy, we're just toys. You're a boy's toy. You can't send the toy to do a boy's work. This is positively boys and not a toy's work. Even though we know it isn't fair, Santa would never grant a wish to a day. Who can must have more than a buck for a nose. All right. I won't let you down. I'll be back at nine o'clock. He looks like Prince First time I've ever been really on my own. Still, I suppose if I keep talking to myself, it'd be sort of like having a bit of company. They were just trying to scare me, wasn't they? Talking about robots and witches. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure I believe in witches. I mean, I've read about them, but I've never actually seen one. <laughs> well, stop talking to yourself, Quincy. You've got a long way to go. What's this? Anybody there? Excuse me. Good heavens, what is it? Who are you? My name's Quincy. Quincy, Quincy. Not one of the Huntingdon Quincys. Are you Quincy of Quincy Hall? No, I'm Quincy of the reject department. A reject? Reject. 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 reject? Is there something wrong? Obviously. You're from the basement, aren't you? Below stairs. Lower deck, substandard shop soil, second hand, a common reject. That sounds like me, yes. Whereas on the other hand, we are perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect, superior, superior, not one of us inferior. Perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect, quality impeccable, washable, unbreakable. Perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect. Thanks for telling me. Look, I wonder if you could help me. I'm trying Be to find quiet, my way. you insolent little wretch. You can't talk to the likes of us. You are completely out of your class up here. Don't you realize who we are? No. But I've already told you. We are perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect. Grade one, what a flaw. First class, top drawer. Perfect, perfect. We're absolutely perfect. Absolutely just Top nine, right, right. Perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect. Ross, can you tell me how it feels, you know, being perfect? Certainly, dear boy, you must have a degree extensive, immaculate expensive. We're perfect, perfect, we're perfect, perfect, we're absolutely perfect. Yikes! I can't wait till I'm perfect myself. Just imagine, I never get angry, never tell lies, always wash beyond my ears. Aha! No, is that perfect? I'm a reject, a reject, I'm just a common reject. My wear and tear's unthinkable, I'm splittable and shrinkable. A reject, a reject, what's wrong about a reject? Neglected and dejected, never properly inspected. But if you are so perfected, then I'm proud that I'm rejected. Low grade, low grade, low grade. 
third right. I'm a reject. A reject, you say? Called Quincy. Yes, which? Yes. You know you can rely on me. I scratch your back and you scratch mine. Well, on second thoughts, with your nails, perhaps not. <laughs> well, it was sort of like a joke, witch. Right. I'll delay him and you'll ring me later. Roll up, roll up, roll up. Come and see the greatest show on earth, starting in just a minute. It's got everything. Step inside for fun, glamour, spectacle. Hello, son. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You're just in time. Oh, I can't stop. I'm on a quest. Can you tell me the way to Santa Claus? Of course I can, Quincy, but all in good time. Hey, you call me Quincy. How did you know my name? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> everybody knows Quincy. Hello, Quince. I'm Carl. Say, how would you like a complimentary seat to the show of a lifetime? Starting in just a minute, absolutely free, no charge. When you're a ventriloquist doll, you can always pull a few strings. Know what I mean? <laughs> Very kindly, Mr. Cumber, but I haven't got time. Everybody's got the time for a little fun now and again. You know what they say, all work and no play makes Quincy a doll boy. Look at the bright light. They are beckoning you. It's all very tempting, Mr. Khan. <laughs> but I really shouldn't. Isn't that what they all say? I really shouldn't. But that's life for your son. If everyone who said I really shouldn't didn't, then they wouldn't, but they don't. They either do it and wish they hadn't, or don't do it and wish they did. Even if they shouldn't. I don't follow you. You don't have to. You go first. The curtain's just going up. They don't call me Khan for nothing. Welcome to the theater! How do you like the jacket? It usually has a vent in the back. <laughs> nice jacket, really. Used to be a smoking jacket, then it caught fire, and now it's a blazer. <laughs> oh yeah, there's nothing like a good laugh. Judging by your reaction, Quincy, that was nothing like a good laugh. The way I look at it, laughter is something to be shared with others. So you're welcome to some of mine. Half, half of my laughter, half, half of my cheer Half, half of my happy, I'll be twice as happy There's nothing that works up my plan As when I can perk up the sand So stop feeling down and depressed Pop up your cheeks and throw out your chest Why should you suffer from gloom? Laughter is a medicine better than an aspirin <laughs> having and being a friend if you were in my place and i wore the long face as quick as a wink you would say have of my laughter have of my cheer have of my happy I'm here and you're there. How would you like to leave there and come up here with me? In the spotlight, the main attraction. Come on, son, let's make this single a double. The Toy Theatre proudly presents, for your entertainment, Messrs. Khan and Quincy! Have half of my laughter, have half of my cheer. 
Half half of my happy I'll be twice as happy There's nothing that works up my glad As when I can perk up the sad Share some of my funny Take part of my joy Then sample my glowing The way that it's flowing A gallon would never be missed No face or a look like a fist To change the condition it's in Throw out the frown and bring in the grin Don't let the world get you down Never let it make you feel You have sucked a lemon peel Ha 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 This life is for having and being a friend If you were in my place Then I want a long face As quick as a wink you would say And I wore the long face As quick as a wink you would say Hey, half of my laughter Half, half of my cheek Half, half of my happy They're the only reason we Hello, Toy Theater. Oh, it's you, Witch. Say, that Quincy may be a reject, but he's terrific. They love him. Yeah, I know you don't. Okay, what's the plan? Right. I'll put him on the train, and you'll see that he doesn't get off. Oh, gee, he seems like such a nice kid. Still, you're the boss. Bring it up, girls. Bring it up, girls. That's right. Bring it up. Put it there, Quincy. Say, how would you like to sign up with me and be in show business for the rest of your life? Be in show business? Oh, Mr. Con, yes! Yeah. Oh, I can't. I've got to get to Santa as soon as possible. Trust your old friend, Con. How would you like a shortcut? Straight to Santa's grotto. A shortcut? All the way by train. A special train just for you. Outside, turn left. First right, and you're at the station. Oh, Mr. Conn, I don't know what to say, but thanks very much. What's a friend for? Goodbye, girls. Goodbye! Goodbye, Mr. Conn. Goodbye, Quincy.
I'm glad you've come. I've been waiting for you. But there must be some mistake. Oh, no. I knew you'd come eventually. But how did you know I was coming? Well, doesn't everybody know that eventually they're going to meet the person they've always been waiting for? Haven't you always known that someday you'd meet someone you really liked? Yeah. But I didn't know that when I met them, that's how they'd been waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't kept hanging about, have I? Oh, never mind. You're here now. <laughs> I'm lucky to be here at all. Do you know, if I hadn't jumped off that train when I did, I'd have ended up in... This isn't heaven, is it? Oh, don't be silly. Of course it isn't. You didn't really think I was an angel, did you? Well, now that you mention it, yes. <laughs> Except that you're, um... You're prettier. No, I'm just a doll. Like all the others. Oh, but you're not like all the others. You're something special. I mean, I'm surprised they haven't sold you Ooh, a long time ago. Well, I don't want to be sold. I like it here. Besides, I told you, I've been waiting. What's your name? Rebecca. Mine's Quincy. Can you stay here with me for a while? No, I've got to get to Santa Claus before nine o'clock. Oh, please. I'd like you to see my village. Village? Well, I can't see any village. Then you must look harder. Like you could do magic. Yes, isn't it wonderful? Hello. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Why is everybody so happy? They've got something in common. What's that? They like each other. Have we got something in common? I like chrysanthemums. They're my favourite. Love a tasty mystery. How I savour it, I adore a roasted goose When they chestnut flavour it, we agree One, two, three, isn't, isn't it amazing? It? We meet thousands along life's highway And with a few, there's a lot to be shared But to meet somebody with so much honour That's rare Quite rare you're so pretty, so warm and lovely Without a word spoken I'd have had to care But to find we begin with so much in common That's rare, so rare Cause rarely can I show My feeling lurking down below For fear no one will understand them but with you they can bubble to the surface I'm at ease, not the least bit nervous Our new friendship will keep on growing And word by word it can lead us anywhere But the one word defining so much in common Is rare, as rare as this feeling of walking on air So warm Do you really mean it? I mean, really, honestly. Well, Quincy, I think you're very nice looking. Oh, God. And you're very charming. 
you really think so? And you're very dashing. It's just that... Hmm? Oh, nothing. It doesn't matter. Well, it does to me, Rebecca. Just what? Oh, it, it's silly, I suppose. It's just that the man I always dreamt of was... Yeah. Well, in a uniform. Like that one. A uniform? Like that one. Right. Oh, no. No, Quincy, please. Oh, Quincy, come back. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Quincy, you don't have to be... I like you as you are. Quincy! What do you think? Oh, Quincy, you do look handsome. And so brave. Yeah, put in the soldier! Where are we going? To the battle, of course. What happens there? That's where we fight the enemy and get smithereen. What smithereen? You know, smithereen. Oh, why? Because that's the war game, mate. Somehow, I don't think I shall ever see him again. against Smithereen.
I've got a complaint. What are you doing, man? Get back in the battle. I'll stay up here if you don't mind. This hill is for officers only. Besides, it's out of range. All right, then I'll be an officer. Well, you can't, so there, you're not qualified to leave. I'm not qualified to get smithereened either. I'm afraid you'll just have to, otherwise you'll be smithereened for desertion. Now, just a minute, if I stay up here, I'll get smithereened, and if I go back, I'll get smithereened. That's not fair. Tisn't meant to be fair, it's regulations. Now, be a good lad and go and get smithereened properly, with honour. Next, how dare he step out of line? I'm his gun to butt these days. Friend, thank you. Did we win? No, sir. Nobody ever does. soldiers to play with anymore. Might as well get back in our box. Idea what's going on up here. There's soldiers killing each other, perfect snobs that don't want to talk to you, ventriloquist dolls that send you the wrong way, chains that crash, and now this. I've just had it. I'm coming home. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Just decide that you're the kind to say, I know that I can. Then what shall you will? The mountain. 
Stay away from me. Never touched you. But you're a lion. You're strong and fearless and ferocious. You're the king of the jungle. Did you hear that, fellas? He called me king of the jungle. <laughs> All right, your majesty. Now let's eat it. <laughs> Larry, if you say that again, you'll have me to reckon with strong, fearless and ferocious. That's what the man said. Why, I'll knock spots off you. Hey. Put up your dukes. Hey. 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 I'm going to beat you with a bite your tail. Hey. 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 Just a minute. Off. Wait a minute. You're acting like a pack of animals in front of a perfect stranger. So allow me to introduce myself. My name is Quincy. I'm Jerry. The giraffe. Charm. Uh, Larry the leopard. Hi, Larry. I'm Lionel, the lion. Hi, <laughs> Lionel. Oh, dear, we mustn't forget the elephant. Hello, little lady. What's your name? Her name is Ellie. Ellie the elephant. Oh, that's very kind, you Ellie. Thanks very much. God, look at this. Thank you. Look at the state of me. You won't believe the size of this staircase I climbed up. It was like Mount Everest, I'll tell you that. Oh, do you mind? Be my guest. Oh, thanks. Do you know, you're the nicest lot I've met since I left the reject department. The reject <laughs> department? No. <laughs> hey, isn't Cedric the camel down there? Poor Cedric. He hasn't got a hump to his name. Do you know Cedric? Yes. Yeah, he's down there all right, along with all the other rejects. And do you know something? If I don't get the Santa Claus soon, they're all going to be burned. Burned? I feel faint. Oh, oh, that good. is terrible. Oh, no. And it could be any one of us. I know. And just look at my tail. Don't anyone dare to say a word about my little imperfection. My God. I do hope they don't think I've got... measles. <laughs> do you know, it's hard to believe that you're all animals. Of course we are. And what's more... An animal's a man's best friend. Mm. God, you know, I haven't got a friend in this whole store. Well, you have now, hasn't he? Yeah. Of course you have. Yeah, I love yeah. Quincy. Do you know, yeah. do you mind if I say something? I've just about given up hope of finding any friends in this place. And if you've been through what I've been through lately, you'll realise that 
friendship is, well, it's something of great value. Honest. When happiness rushes out, as Mr. Trouble rushes in, when others give up on you, he's ready to begin. Quincy, Quincy, without a doubt, on what a friend is all about. Who's willing to battle wrongs until he sets it right? Quincy, that's me. Quincy, I'm here. Without a doubt, I'm what a friend is all about. Twice as brave as any lion is. No heart that big as his. Ouch! Cause he's a heart. Cause he's a heart. So when the chips are down, you'll never be. We can wait, see. There's no quit in Quincy. No quit in Quincy. While others in need of help. They have to search the world wide We only look as far as right here by our side Quincy Quincy Without a doubt I'm what a friend is all about today because 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 I, I know that I will never see him again his name was Quincy it was a funny sort of a name really but I don't think I'd have minded that being Mrs. Quincy I mean <laughs> we only met for a few moments, but even in that short time, I, I sort of knew, oh, Quincy, if only you were here now, I'd tell you how much I really loved you. Would you really? Quincy? Rebecca? 
Quincy, I thought I'd never see you again. Would you mind saying that again? I thought I'd never see you again. No, not that. What you said before. Oh, Quincy, thank goodness you're safe. It was something about love or something. Oh, it's all my fault, your being in the army and going off to war like that. Mrs. Quincy? I didn't think you'd ever come back. Well, that's just it, Rebecca. You must have more faith. If you believe in somebody strongly enough, they're never going to let you down. You're here now. That's all that matters. It's like all my friends in the basement. They're relying on me, and I'm not going to let them down either. So, come on. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to Sandler. He's not far now. No, Quincy, I, I mustn't come with you. But now that I've found you, I'm not going to lose you again. Don't you understand? Couldn't I just wait for you here? Well, it's nothing to be frightened of. Besides, once Santa sees you, he's going to fall in love with you as well. <laughs> Yipes, I've said it. Said what? I've fallen in love with you as well. Shall I say it again? Yes. I can't. Hey, what's that over there? It's a magic mirror, look. Oh, no. No, Quincy, I don't like mirrors. Oh, come on, it's only a bit of fun. Hey, look at this! I can do a balancing act. No. Ale! Oh! No, Quincy. I never look in mirrors. It's vain. Come on, don't be such a spoil sport. They're magic mirrors for fun. Look at that one. Hey, that's a better one here. Come on. Oh, no, Quincy. No, you mustn't make me. You mustn't make me. We'll both regret it. <laughs> You completely. No, please. Rebecca, you are mine. No. No, I belong to Quincy. You belong to me. Leave me alone. I don't want to be you. I, I want, want to, to be me. me. I, want I want to, to stay with Quincy. I want, I want to stay with Quincy. I want, I want to, to stay with Quincy. Quincy, come and have a look at this. Rebecca? Yes, Quincy. What have you done with Rebecca? I am Rebecca, you little fool. I want you, Quincy. It can't happen to me because all my friends are depending on me. I've got to get the Santa Claus. It's all over. Can't be destroyed, all your friends. Just as I'm going to destroy you now. <laughs> She's lovely and wonderful. You're ugly and evil. Well, what do you expect? Year after year, watching all the toys being sold to happy homes where they can be loved and cared for. Nobody ever wanted me. Now listen to me, witch! Please! I hate toys. I hate them. I want them all destroyed, but you... You wanted to save them. <laughs> That's why you have to be destroyed. <laughs> My friends will help me. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Please, wait.
On a minute, I can't stop. Oh, oh, that's better. Still feel a bit giddy though. It's all go, isn't it? I'm not frightened of you. Come on, I'll take you on as well. Well, fisticuffs? Oh dear me, no. I've come to help you. Have you? <laughs> I need all the help I can get. Well, if you want things done, there's nothing like starting at the top. <laughs> you can't beat a good old-fashioned toy. Hmm? Yeah, but I'm a reject. That's nothing to be ashamed of. We're all going to be rejects one day. I mean, look at me. I mean, the wear and tear on the top is something chronic. They pull my head up and down to get me started, and off I go on my rounds, bumping into things, chipping me paint, humming away merrily as though it was all a load of fun. Well, it isn't. Well, it is sometimes, but it isn't all the time. Some of the time it is, but some of the time it isn't. Some of the time it isn't, and some of the time it isn't. <laughs> you do talk in circles, Mr. Top. Look, I'm trying to find my way to Santa's Grotto. Oh, that's easy. That's, uh, that's, uh, uh, that way. At the end of the corridor, if there's any corridor left. Well, thanks very much. Look, I'm sorry I've got a rush, but I'll turn back into a toy at nine o'clock. Don't we all? Wait, <laughs> listen. 
I thought I heard someone crying. You don't suppose she's still alive, do you? That's Rebecca. It's Rebecca! Rebecca! Oh, oh Quincy! Quincy! Well, listen, you're going to be all right. The witch is dead. Now we can be together. Oh, no, Quincy. You, you can't want me after what I've done. What, I tricked you into becoming a soldier. Well, don't you understand? I wanted you to be killed. No, you didn't. She did. You was under the spell of the witch. Oh, please forgive me. Well, there's nothing to forgive. <laughs> Go on, make her happy. Forgive her. It's too late for her, son. No, it's not. Santa Claus can save anybody. He can save her. She's going to be all right. Quincy, it's nearly nine o'clock. Department. Oh, I've, I've come such a long way, sir. And I, I'm so very tired, but I wanted to see you. I wanted to sit on your knee like other boys and whisper my wish, but but you're not here. After all this, you you're not here. He's, he's not here. He's, he's gone away and it, it's nearly time. Darling, promise me. Promise me. Anything. Promise me I won't become a reject. Or don't let them put me down in the basement. Promise me. It's all right. I'll stay with you. I'll hide the tears. All they'll see is the smile If I must go Then I'll go out in style Still I have faith This is very temporary And it's gonna be my turn next time Life's back me up Till I'm pressed to the wall But I'll walk away I said walk, never crawl and those who would gloat Do it fast now, make it last now Cause it's gonna be my turn next time Next time I don't know when Next time I don't know where I only hope It's in your heart How I'd love Being there I may be down
Rebecca? Jack, Teddy, Gazanda, it's time, it's time, I got this far though, didn't I, bet you didn't think I could, I met Rebecca, but it's too late, Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Jennifer. Can I have these? Impossible! The sale of those dolls is out of the question. It's quite impossible to allow them out of the building, sir. They are rejects. This store sells nothing but the best. They belong down in the basement with the other rejects. Be quiet! With all the other rejects, they are going on the fire! Fire! Where are you going? No, this, this is disgraceful! Come back! Come back here at once! No, 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 I don't know how you got up here, young man, or your little friend here, but something tells me that you're a brave little chappy. There'll be no fire this year for you and your friends. I'd like to keep you with me forever. Just to remind all those children with broken toys that love and understanding is given to all. You can do whatever you put 
your mind to Just decide that you're the kind to say I know that I can And watch how you will The mountain you've chosen to climb Becomes a Something you can bet on when the goal is won. They say to take heart. So how can you lose if you have it from the start? Sometimes wishing will make dreams come true. Why count up wishing when there's so much more doing can do? So you see, no matter how big the problem, there will always be an answer. It's all up to you.